now you need to check your spokes. You need to put it on a stand to get the, so we can spin the wheels. And um, we'll get onto that one. I'll show you how to do it. No worries. So what's important about checking the spokes? Well, your back wheel does takes your back wheel especially gets a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, small wheels, big bike, big guys on it, and uh, you have got the drive and the compression when you land on it. No so the spokes will come loose occasionally. Yeah. And you need to make sure they don't come loose by keeping them tight. Yep. No worries. Okay. We get the stand under it. Okay, so with the standard spoke wrench, yep. all we need to do, we just spin the wheel and we check the spokes and it's by sound. Yep. You only need a nice solid ting if it's tight. There you go, you got a loose one. So we find the loose ones. I like to nip them up to the same tension as the, one, the ones next to it. Yep. And then we go around and tension the whole lot. What size um, piece are you using on the spoke wrench there? Okay, for? we're using the number, number five. Yep. So that's the furthest one in yep. there. That's it. No We've got them all evenly, evenly tensions. Yep. So we'll go around and do the whole wheel. So start from the valve so you know where you started from. And we go around the whole way on one side, nip it up sort of half a turn, yep. then we'll do the other side. Okay. Fix it. So just like any other bolt, they do up the same way, Paul? Same as yeah, mate. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. No worries. Let's put them straight down. So it's a fairly monotonous job, but one that's got to be done for. Can be, mate, yes. And it's best to do it this way. Yep. Just keep your rim straight. There you go, mate. Nice tension back wheel. Oh, no. So you know when you land off those big tabletops, <laughs> she's not going to fall out from underneath you.